Hey, it's Monica here. Thanks for tuning in today. If you don't know me, my name is Monica. I am an e-commerce operator, a former professional athlete, and a Klaviyo email marketing consultant. Let's go ahead and dive in. So today I want to talk about a couple of updates that Klaviyo recently announced just this last week. Today is Saturday. I'm in my workout gear. I've just been chilling, getting some work done, enjoying the nice fall weather. But earlier this week, Klaviyo announced some really, really amazing updates to their platform, and I am so excited about this. This is gonna be a game changer for people like you and for people like me who are utilizing, especially the, the Klaviyo editor. It's gonna be so cool. So let, let me tell you a little bit about a few of my favorite updates, and then I'll show you what they look like. So the editor in Klaviyo is getting a huge update. Like, Hallelujah. Do you agree? So a couple of things that are new is that you can now insert background images with text on top of them. So you don't have to necessarily edit a photo outside of Klaviyo and then just embed a photo with text over it. You'll now be able to embed a photo behind. Here's what that's going to look like. All right, so we are in Klaviyo to access the new editor. You are going to go to email templates over here. I've already started a template, so let's just go right on in here. And you will see that not only is this image embedded, so this image is just placed in here, but on top of it, there is also text over. So you can now put text over images and this is what I was talking about. Okay, the second thing that I'm really excited about, especially for when we're working with our clients, is universal editing. They said this is coming out in the next few weeks and I don't see it yet in my Klaviyo accounts, so stay tuned for this, but here's what it is. So you know when you make an update to a template and you update maybe let's say your footer section and you want that same footer section in all of your emails now we can utilize universal editing to let that go across multiple templates so we don't have to go in and edit each template and i know you can use a save block or something like that but a lot of times a footer is multiple blocks and that is a pain in the butt so universal editing is going to be game changing for making updates and while I'm talking about groups, saved blocks and blocks, let's talk about this update. You can now group blocks together. So if you've built a footer and it's a couple of different blocks pieced together, you're now able to group them so you don't have to do multiple steps and drag and drop multiple saved blocks. This is gonna be so time saving. Let's take a look at what grouping sections is gonna look like. All right, so let's take a look at these sections. So you'll notice here that we have this new sections button, um, which creates a section. You can see that this is a section with text and an image and a spacer to size the image. And then we have a section here with one, two, three, four different texts and two buttons. So it's now allowing you to section things together so that you can move them around more easily without having to drag and drop a bunch of different things. If there were spacers in here, this is just gonna be so seamless and so amazing. So you're just gonna use this sections over here to se select the section you select outside of this body and then to select the actual kind of blocks or elements, you're gonna go within the body of the email. So hopefully you will start utilizing this. Again, right now we can only um, use the new editor within templates. So you need to edit in templates, use this new editor there. Um, and unfortunately, you can't convert old templates to the new editor just yet. So let's be patient and wait for some of these other updates to roll out, but we are moving in the right direction and this is so exciting. Okay, so those are some of my favorite updates in the editor. I'm really, really excited to see how these function, play with them a little bit more and get to know them. 
but I'm also so excited that they just announced Showcase. So Showcase is basically like, you know when you screenshot all those emails from brands you love so you can show your designer or your email marketing agency or your freelancer? Now Clavio has an embedded area in their website called Showcase where you can go and browse other brands' emails and not only can you see the design and the look and feel, you can also see that email's analytics. So they're only selecting emails that have performed really well. And so you can look at copy, you can look at CTAs, you can look at creative, and it's also gonna show you how that email performed. You can also sort and showcase based off of different campaign types, whether it was a Black Friday, Cyber Monday, something like that or if it was just like a one-off campaign of a new product launching. So this is gonna be a great place for people to get ideas and also not have to always be testing on their own, but kind of understand the things that work from similar brands who you think may have similar audiences. To find Showcase within your Shopify account, you're gonna to wanna to go like you're creating a campaign and go all the way to this page where you go to campaign content and you'll see this little link here that says stuck browse top performing emails from Clavio creators, which will take you into showcase. This is where you're going to be able to browse based off of high performing metrics and see some different designs from within the industry. So showcase is going to be a game changer. I've definitely got in there and looked around. There are some like really minimal designs in there, which I love because it doesn't have to be over designed to perform well. Although we know we love a beautiful email. So these are a few of the Clavio updates that I'm really, really excited about. Some other things that they um, announced were updates to SMS. I don't currently use Clavio for SMS. I am using PostScript, but it sounds like I should maybe be considering using Clavio. So everything's in one platform because these updates were really, really good as well. So I'm gonna leave a link down in the description with more information on all of these updates. If you have any questions or you're really excited about these as well, I would love to hear about it. If you love seeing these videos, go ahead and hit subscribe. If you wanna keep learning more about email marketing, e-commerce entrepreneurship, and Clavio, go ahead and subscribe. I'd love for you to support this channel. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this video and we will see you next time. Have a great weekend.